So we really like the uh, the hub style tents. Uh, they're super easy to set up. Um, that's why we've been checking them out. Um, the big downside of them is how much room they take compared to a traditional tent. So here in front in the orange bag, I've got uh, our old Ozark trails. This is just your typical Walmart Ozark trail tent. Um, it's got the fiberglass poles. You run them through the hoops. You get the thing all set up. It, uh, we've used this for years. Um, my uh, oldest boy likes to use it. Um, it takes him probably a good 15 minutes or so to get it set up when he gets all the poles out and get some run through and, and what have you. Um, so we've got this new tent for him, but if you're uh, limited on space, I mean, you can see there's, that's the big negative of these uh, hub style tents. They set up fast, but in terms of how much space they take when you're uh, packing gear or if you're gonna go uh, backpacking, they're useless. But if you're gonna just uh, go out to a campsite in your car, you, you gotta make space. Make sure you've got space for these larger style tents if you wanna go that way. All right, so let's go see how fast this thing um, sets up. definitely smaller than the uh, four person. There you go, it's done. All right, so let's take a look around this uh, Magellan Outdoors Pro Swift Rise Hub Tent. This is a three-person variant. Um, if you saw my video on the four-person variant, the uh, four-person had um, these hub designs on four sides as well as the roof. This one only has two, so it's a, it's a TP style tent. You can see you basically just pull out this left side here and the right side and spread out the, uh, the base and you are good to go. Um, it's got some nice lines already built in so you can, you can anchor this down if you had some really windy weather. Uh, because this one is shorter than the other one, it, uh, it really handles the wind even even better though that these hub style tents are really good with uh with not flapping around in the wind um you've got you know places to stake it down and these hooks here for the um uh, for the rain fly as you can tell there's a lot of venting on this tent um they do zip up this bottom one on the inside you can see but these other ones don't so great for looking at the stars but if you want to uh if you're gonna have rain you're gonna want to get the rain fly put on it and we'll do that in a moment now i haven't staked this out as you can tell so over here they've got uh you know a power socket this is a little velcro uh section that you can open up and run a power cord through so you can run or charge uh devices uh, on the inside, I always think that's nice. Now the door is pretty big. They got these nice zippers. Run it all the way around. All right, so with the door open and out of the way, you can see it's really spacious in there. One of the great things about this hub style is because it pulls the walls out away from the edge, they're not sagging into the tent. 
it really opens the tent up. And with this thing having so much netting for venting, um, really, really nice breezes are able to pass through. You can see that that uh, bottom triangular section, that's gonna unzip if you want it. The rest is gonna stay. There's no uh, zippers for that. You'd have to put on the rain fly to cover the top. And the uh, these uh, areas here. Now these top ones, um, these are mesh here. This back one actually has, the top section is a plastic window, so that's, that's protected from the rain, but this bottom section, now this one, this one does zip up completely. All right, so they have a little pocket over here for you to store your, uh, your phone and your wallet and whatever. Um, you've also got, like their other Magellan Pro, you've got a little LED strand running through it with a little uh, power button over here. So just this one strand, but it's really nice. You know, you've got this built-in lighting into your tent. All you got to do is put some batteries in there. It's LED, so they'll run for a long time. And uh, it gives you that, uh, you know, ability to have your tent lit without searching for your uh, phone or your uh, flashlight or having a lamp. Another set of pockets over there. And uh, overall, you know, really nice design. Now the one thing, unlike the, uh, the four person Swift Rise Hub tent, you can see here on the back. Now I think if I stake this out, this uh, fabric would be more taut. Obviously, yeah, if you look at that. But because it doesn't have the hub on this backside right here, you will end up with a little bit more of, you know, wind noise on this flapping like a more traditional tent. These, these sides where the hub is, those are super taunt. There's gonna be no flapping of the fabric there, but on both ends of this one, because they don't have that hub design built in there, that'll be just a little bit of area for some wind noise. All right, so in the bag, you've got a few things. You've got the installation instructions if you need them. Um, maybe just look at the first picture is all you really need to to see how the tent is supposed to be laid out. Um, they do have this uh, mat right here. You can see on the installation guide, you're just supposed to hook it to the front of the tent and it's gonna lay there and be a place to put your shoes. Um, the one thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't have any holes um, or points to stake the, the side that comes out. So, you know, if you put your shoes on it, it's gonna stay in place. But if you, uh, if you just leave it there, um, it does attach to the tent, but it will flip up and you'll have to lay it out from time to time. So either set something on it or, you know, punch some holes in it and put some grommets and put some stakes in there. Um, they also come with, these tents um, come with some nice stakes, you know, unlike the, uh, the cheap stakes you get with a, uh, a cheap tent, uh, you pay a little bit more for the tent and you get a much nicer stake. You know, they've got, uh, they're, real, they're real long, they're thick and heavy. Uh, they've got nice um, head on them for you to be able to uh, either latch things onto and help you pull them up if they get stuck in the ground. So now we're going to go ahead and try to put on the rain fly. All right, so for the rain fly, suppose you can look for the label. This is going to go on the front. You can see it's basically just going to lay over this thing. and get it hooked all corners first. So if we walk around, as you saw, this rain fly, um, it's gonna be real snug because it, it uh, hooks up on the corners there really well. It comes down and hooks on each one of these uh, four sides. And it's got this uh, line, like I was saying, that you uh, stake that out. 
it's going to give it a little bit of a gap so that you can get some air up there this zips all the way closed so this will just allow some air to come up to the uh, top venting so you get a little bit of circulation in there on um, the back that zips all up so you don't have to worry about water coming in there and again on this side you know you just stake it out so that uh, you get a little bit of venting all right the only other thing i wanted to show you was uh so here's your uh, shoe mat it hooks on here these uh these clip on pretty pretty solid so it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to come off very easily but again uh any breeze and this thing's going to move around so i would suggest either sitting something on it or popping some holes in that and uh and staking it down all right so now let's take a look at how quick this thing goes down that's one of the best things about uh these hub style tents is the speed in which they can set up and go down versus a traditional tent all right we're just going to go over here All right, so we got this thing put in the bag and she saw that was that was pretty darn easy and you can see there's there's extra space in this bag and these bags are, are nice because uh, they do give you that extra space and um you know they've got velcro straps here so you can hook these in and give yourself you know the ability to tighten it down if you end up with a little bit more gear in there or what have you uh they got this nice big carrying handle plus these handles on the front which help you move it around when you load it and i'll show you the uh, where we load this and uh, but then the other thing really on the bottom here you see they've got another zipper so if you find that this bag gets too tight for you and you can you can unzip this bottom zipper here and you can give yourself more room and it, it can't go uh, unstated you know here's here's our old Ozark trail and you can see this bag is taunt every time we load this thing up it's a fight it's a fight between the bag and your patience and uh, there's been quite a few uh, curse words said at this bag. I mean, it is nice that it packs down this small. This guy takes up significantly more room. But in terms of peace of mind, when I'm packing up camp, I hate fussing with the bag. I just, I just hate it. I hate trying to get something into the smallest possible bag that will fit it. You know, this, this will just. Uh, Give me peace of mind you know <laughs> take a little edge off when you're packing up camp thanks for watching my initial impressions and setup for the magellan swift rise pro three person hub tent if you like this video and want to see more of them just press the like button and subscribe thanks